Okay, next up we got another uh, Grizzly Day, Grizzly Day 2.0. I picked up some additional uh, Grizzly rounds, including um, Grizzly uh, 40 Cal. Uh, this is a 180 grain bonded jacketed hollow point round. Um, the box here claims a, a velocity of 1125 feet per second and energy of 506 foot pounds. Uh, the barrel length is not listed on the box um, that it's being tested through. And with most of my um, tests so far, I primarily try to use it for concealed carry length um, sidearms. So I'm using the Glock 27 with a 3.42 inch barrel. Um, and this is what the round looks like. Um, looks like a pretty decent um, cavity there in that hollow point. And uh, yeah, we're going to take it out to the range and test it out. Stay tuned. One thousand sixty six. Okay. Took two shots with that. First one passed all the way through. Apologize, did not have my barrier set up, so it uh, it was lost. I took a second shot. So first one went in on top, second one went in down here. You can see the top wound path in there, pretty good. This is about 20 inches of homemade calibrated ballistics gel. Passed all the way through. Second one is, uh, hopefully you can see that. Uh, well, here, what we'll do, is we'll roll the blocks up here. Okay, I rolled the blocks up 90 degrees, so the one on the left is the first shot, the one on the right is the second shot. So you can see down in there the damage track. It's about an inch or two wide probably. That also passed all the way through the 20 inches, hit my barrier, landed on the table. Here it is. So, did not expand, and one of the pedals looks like it broke off. Ten sixty five one zero six five. Okay, that was uh, again kind of hard to put them too close together in here in the block. Um, but uh, maybe from the top, I believe that was uh, this track here to the right. That forty cal. Again, not a lot of disruption in there. Passed all the way through, hit the barrier, landed on the table. Again, no real expansion on the 40 cal through 18 inches of clear ballistics. 1082. Okay, back after we uh, tested that Grizzly 40 cal, not going to lie, pretty disappointing results uh, from my opinion. Through the uh, calibrated homing ballistics gel, we had two complete pass-throughs. It did not look like any expansion. It looked like there was probably tumbling, which is what caused those wound cavities, which in and of itself isn't bad. It's just it's it's not necessarily reliable. Um, and, and a little concerning. I, I thought with the, the claim velocity on, on these and the fact that they're you know bonded ejected hollow points, I thought they were going to perform better than they did. Um, but uh, the proof is in, in the actual testing. Um, average speeds, I got four average, uh, four speeds were picked up by the chrono through the, the different testing I did. The average was 1084 feet per second which equates to 470 foot-pounds of energy, which is a fair amount of energy for a 40 cal. It's pretty good. Um, but without the expansion, uh, I'm, I'm very disappointed. Um, I do have the uh, scale here. Uh, first of all, I'll show you these. This was the one that went through the uh, the homemade uh, calibrated ballistics gel. Uh, it did tear off um, one of the uh, pedals there, which I thought was interesting. Um, and I did find the pedal. Um it was uh, somewhere, I don't remember where this was, if it was in the block when I melted it, or um, if it was uh, on the table, but I did find it. Um, and then the uh, the one through the clear ballistics, um, the, at least the, the one through the homemade ballistics, it looked like it tried to start to expand a little bit. It did open up a little bit. 
uh, but no more than the base really. Uh, through the clear ballistics, um, very, even less so. Um, so again, just disappointing results all, all together. I'll go ahead and I'll weigh these uh, just because I do want to see uh, the weights on these. So this was the one through the uh, homemade ballistics uh, gel weighted at, uh, looks like 179 grains. And then the one through... Uh, Clear ballistics, right there, spot on at 180. So no weight loss really on on, on that at all. So um, overall, for the the Grizzlies, um, I'm gonna say that that you know I like that they tumbled and the wound cavities looked okay, but uh, you know there's better options out there. So I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, the first video here of Grizzly Day 2.0. I do have some additional Grizzly ammo to test, and I'll be bringing those videos to you here shortly. Stay tuned for those.